What's up guys? So today we're going to be talking a little bit about hosting your Jekyll website. So you finished building your website and you're ready to put it on the server or up somewhere so everyone can see it. What do you do? So there's two ways that you can do this. You can host it for free using GitHub pages because they actually use Jekyll. Um, and that's super simple and I've created a few videos on how to um, you know set up GH pages uh, with a github repository and even add SSL connections to that so I think I have like a total of three videos around that and I'll put the links to it in the description below but today we're gonna be talking about setting up your own server and getting your Jekyll website on a dedicated server for it. Uh, so it's gonna be really easy and we're gonna be using DigitalOcean. I find that uh, it's fairly cheap. I mean, it's very cost effective, but it looks great, it feels great, and I really love uh, the company. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right guys, so I've got my website right here and this is the website that we worked on in one of my series in the, um, well I can't remember the name of it, but it's my personal business website that we built with Jekyll. Um, so I've just got that sitting right here on my desktop and let me show you what we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using this right here, which is DigitalOcean. I love this. Um, it's. I, I, I find that this is like one of the cheapest um, places that you can host something, um, but the tools that they give you is just so nice and I love the design, I love the way it looks, I love the way it feels, and I love the way it works. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick and create an account. Wait, not, not create an account. <laughs> I already have one. Log in. You need to create an account if you don't. All right. Let me grab this authentication code. And voila, we're in. Okay, so all you need to do is create a droplet, which is very simple. Um, so I'm just gonna click create droplet. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna set up like a, ser a hosting server for you. So you could go in here and configure this all on your own, but let's go ahead and we're gonna click one click apps. And we're gonna use a LAMP installation. So it's Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And then we're gonna come here and click this cheapest one, which is only gonna charge you like 0 0.007 cents an hour. And it's only gonna come out to like five bucks a month, which is honestly, that's, that's really cheap. Um, so we're going to scroll down here. I'm not going to enable any backups or in any of this other stuff. I am going to select New York as my data center region because uh, I'm in the U.S. and on the East Coast. Uh, I'm not going to select any of the additional options here. And I'm not going to add any SSH keys because, I mean, it, yeah, it would make it more secure for logging into it and signing into everything, but it is it can get a little confusing so we're just gonna bypass that for now and then we can name our droplet so I'm just gonna name this YouTube tutorial and click create alright so this is gonna take just a half a second here and it's going to uh, well it's gonna create your droplet and set it all up okay so now that that's set up you'll see you should have an email here yep from DigitalOcean and it's going to have a few things. It's going to have your droplet name, an IP address, uh, the username, and a password. So I'm going to grab the IP address and load that. And let's see. This is what you see right here. It's your website so far. So it says, please log into your droplet via SSH to configure your LAMP installation. So we are going to use the terminal here. Um, but if you wanted, you could come over here and you could use the uh, access console so it's uh, digital oceans console and you could do the same thing but I'm gonna use the terminal so let's grab this password because it's quite a long pass well I'm gonna need the IP address first so to do the SSH you're gonna need to type in SSH and then root because that's the username at the IP address and that's going to get you here. I'm going to type in yes. We want to continue connecting. And then now you need to type in that password, that long password. So I'm going to copy that 
paste that in, hit enter, got it. All right, so the first thing you have to do to uh, get this working is change your password. So to do that, you need to enter the current one. So I'm gonna paste it again, and then I'm gonna set a new password. And just for this video, I'm gonna set the password to password, confirm it, and there we go, we are in. So you can move around in here, you can see where things are. Um, so this is the route, and I'll show you where we're going. So we're gonna be going into var, so we'll go into var. And then we're going to go into the www, so var, www, and then HTML is where we're going to go. So let me just CD into there, uh, CD into var, www, and then HTML. And then I'll show you what's in here, and it's the index in a, .html and info.php. And if we show you what this looks like here, you'll see... Um, the message, please log into your droplet via SSH to configure your LAMP installation, which is exactly what we read here. So now what are we going to do? Well, we want to go ahead and get our own website on there. So we are going to use FileZilla. So to do that, we're just going to need to set this up real quick. It's not going to take much time at all. So we're going to do a new site. We're going to use SFTP. And we need to add a few things. First, we need to add this IP address. And if you connect your uh, domain name in the future, you could put that there. But connect the host, which is the IP. Set the logon type to normal. And now we need to set this as root. And then set the new password that we just set up. Password. And then connect. Um, OK. And OK. and we are connected it looks like so we're going to click on the root here and then we can come all the way down go to var go to www and go to html and you'll see the two files right here so we're just going to delete these two files just because we simply don't need them and now we're going to get our site hosted on a server this is so simple to do and i love how easy Jackal makes it and DigitalOcean makes it as well. So I'm going to go to the desktop, go open the folder, the project. So this is the project. So all you need to do to get your site hosted on um, a server is take all of the contents from this underscore site folder right here and simply put them over here on the server. And anytime you work on your Jekyll project and you rebuild it or uh, whatever, if, if you get the server running or you just do a build, it's going to update this. And all you got to do is just drag what you have here and put it on the server. So now if we come over here, let's grab that IP again. Let's paste it and search and see what we see. Let's refresh. There you go. That's it. Your site is now hosted on a server. All right, guys, that's it. That's uh, what all you need to do to get your site hosted on a server. It's very simple. Setting up a droplet is very easy. Now, when you set up a droplet and you use SSH, it can get quite confusing, um, but it is a little more secure. And if you want, I could create a video on that in the future, but uh, I'm not going to unless you guys want me to make a video on that. It's it's a little confusing, so just let me know if you guys have any issues with that. If you have any issues setting up your droplet, let me know. Um, and let me know if anything changes with them, because I can recreate this video if you're watching this in the future and it's different. Anyways, uh, I'm going to put the links to the other three videos that I talked about using GitHub pages in the description below, but I'm also going to put a referral link to DigitalOcean down below as well. So if you're going to use DigitalOcean, if you can use my referral link, uh, I might get a little bit of money uh, from you using it. So I'm just being transparent with you here, but it, it'd be pretty nice. So I'll give you the referral link. I'll give you the links to the other videos. And yeah, I think that's I think that's about it. It's super cheap, super simple to, to use to manage. 
I love it. You can even set up your own, um, you know, form on there because it's on a server with PHP. Uh, you can uh, send mail from it to yourself if you set up, you know, a PHP mailer. It's it's really great. I've done that a few times. Maybe I'll do a video on that in the future as well. I don't know, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you like the content that I'm creating on this channel, head on over to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Zachary R. Newton, where you can help support this channel and help me create better videos every week. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.